Hey everybody, welcome to, uh, Crow Scare. I am the Blue Story 2. Warning, this game contains themes to and depictions of the following. Blood and gore, implied child abuse, extreme violence towards child characters, implied potential child death. Discretion is advised. Yes, I think that's all you need to do right now. Pick out the biggest pumpkins in the southeast patch. Chase all the birds away and check out Haley. After that, come talk to me again to figure out what to do next. Oh yeah, what are you going to do, Dad? I'm going to sit here and rest. Save my energy for the Harvest Festival, after all. Come on, you can't even spare a little magic for me just this once. Sorry, Rio, you know I had to save my energy. At all. Helping with the farm, I'd have nothing else for the Harvest Festival. If you're my little champ champion, you can handle it, right? Unless... Huh? Oh yeah, I am the champion. I can totally do it. I've done it before. You can count on me, Dad. Do it lightning fast. Faster than you can cast any spell of yours. <laughs> I thought so. You need to remember what to do. Just come back and ask me. Or, you know, you could write it down in that journal you got. I guess you can use it since I gave it to you. I would write down when, you have it, when I have you right here. All right, all right, fair. Either way, I'll be waiting right here. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be moving very far. Well, I'll get it done right now. Good boy, I have another chore for you after, so don't forget to come back to me once you're done. Got it. Arrow keys. Biggest pumpkin in the patch, eh? Sizable pumpkin, look at you. Our trouble you knew I wasn't so strong. Or pumpkins are always the best one. Don't tell the other pumpkins I said that though. You'd make a great jack o' lantern. Or a great pumpkin pie. Well, you're perfectly round. I bet everyone's gonna be fighting over you. You look like all the biggest pumpkins in this patch. Do I have anything left to do? What are the other things? Check on Haley, whoever that is. Are you Haley? Oh no, Haley. The person checking out all your straw again. Don't worry, I'll fix you up. All better. Oh, Haley, you're not a very good scarecrow, are you? Hmm, what else do I have to do? What was the other thing? Excuse me, this is my house, not yours. You don't scare me, kid. Oh, you can talk. Yeah, what about it? Oh, nothing. I mean, I've had plenty of talking birds before. I just... Why are you hanging around my farm acting all shady? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Look, kid. I'm trying to help you. Something bad is coming. Huh? What is? Looking forward to that harvest festival, all right? Yeah, why? Someone wants to ruin it for you than you can imagine. But I think if you're careful, you can make sure it turns out okay. Uh, alright. Why are you telling me this, though? These kids like you are the ones who need a better understanding of dangerous situations. But hell, even some adults can't recognize that some birds are too big to scare. But you're just a little bird. Shut up. Keep your eye out, kid. And keep away from the forest, alright? Hopefully this is the only time we'll need to speak. Be careful, you don't want to see me again. Car. I don't actually think that's it. I should go tell Dad I'm all done. Did he say anything about chasing birds? Look at a resting water. The bugs love it. I don't remember there being anything about birds. Large pile of hay. Don't even think about trying to jump in. Why not? What are you gonna do if I do? Dad, I'm all finished anything. Already? You're so fast. I knew it could count on you. What do you need me to do now? Here, yeah, I packaged some mini pumpkins for you to bring to the library. They want to decorate the windowsills with them. You know how to get there, right? Of course they do. It's the green building close to the main street entrance. You got all the yellow pumpkins in front now. That's right. Such a smart boy, Roy. You? 
Of course I'm smart. I can take care of the whole farm by myself. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. You still get tangled in the hose every now and again. Well, that's just because I'm small. But I'll deliver those pumpkins lickety-split. The librarians, I said hi. Friendly Scarecrow with Dapper Apparel. See, we're always up to something. Statue dedicated to the goddess Lucian. Lucian is a goddess of nature. The harvest night her chalice is said to fill itself with moonlight. In return for such a wonderful drink, Lucia grants a plentiful harvest season for everyone. It's almost your day, Lucina. I can't wait to be able to celebrate the harvest festival with you. That moonlight state delicious. Victory! Hi, Rio. Rio, it's so good to see you out and about. Hello, Miss Mafima. I like your sweater. Thank you, you're such a sweetheart. Rio, Rio, we were just about to get some dinner. Do you want to come with? You're always welcome to join us, you know. Sounds nice, but I'm uh, running towards for Dad right now. Maybe next time. Aw, can't he do it himself? Why can we eat with us? No, not during part festival season. Dad, uh, you know, he, uh, Dad can't walk. Wait, for reals? I thought you knew. That's why he's always floating when you see him. I thought you just do that for fun. Nope, he uses some weird le levitation magic to get around, something like that. But when the Harvest Festival rolls around, he saves up all his magic energy to make a fireworks festival show for everyone. He doesn't move around much to save up as much magic as possible. That's where I come in. I always help him so he doesn't get got to strain himself or nothing. Oh, that makes sense, I think. But we'll still get to play together during the Harvest Festival, right? Yeah, of course! I'm really excited. This is actually going to be my first one. No way, really? Don't you, like, live here? How come you never went to one before? Isn't it like a yearly thing? You were coming here for the festival before we were friends. It is, I just, uh... I'm always in bed by sunset. Huh? It does seem a little early. I know, but farm work is tiring. Dad says the nighttime can be dangerous. But he also says I'm strong enough to handle any dangers at night now. So I'm really excited to be outside during nighttime. And for the Harvest Festival, too. It's gonna be a blast. In that case, I can't wait to see you there. There's the library. I can't... You're not actually worried about that, are you? I'm pretty sure the old witch tales are just to scare kids. Yeah, you're right. They're probably just trying to spook kids into going home, going into bed on time. So it's hard not to feel a little unnerved by it. Oh, that makes it easier. You. It's so lovely to be here during the autumn. Positively delightful. Embry! Oh, hi, Rio. Nice outfit. You look, uh, what you call it? Sharp! <laughs> Thank you. I picked it out for you. Picked it out myself. Got great taste, Mrs. Oliver. Thank you. Hello there, Rio. How's your father doing? He's good. We're preparing for the Harvest Festival. Is that why you guys are in town? No, we're just passing through, but since the festival is happening, we're probably going to stay in town for a few days. I see your, your mom and Dr. D's. Where's Dad at? I looking for someone who can fix the card. It broke down as soon as we entered town. But at least we held out the festival to look forward to while we wait for it to get fixed. Yeah. But even when there isn't a festival, you guys should stop in town more. I miss when you aren't here. I miss you too, Rio. Maybe one day we can travel together. Aw, oh, without us? We'd miss you too, you know. Gee, Embry, how come you get to have three parents? It's lucky, I guess. Yeah, real lucky. Yo, did you say something? Oh, no, no, just thinking to myself. I'll see you guys at the festival. Have a great rest of your day. She was the main character from, um, It's Not You, It's My Basement. No way, you two? It was the strangest thing. A small black bird telling me to steer clear of the woods. You're not really worried about it. No one ever goes in the woods anyway, right? I don't believe in old superstitions anyway. Let's keep going, Dapper Attire. Although in, uh... What's it? Thank you again, Ryo. No problem. Um, in, uh... It's not you, it's my basement. Uh... 
You never get to see, uh, Emery's mom. This guy looks so pretty. Can't wait to watch the entire sunset. Truly the sight to behold. If the harvest festival is over, you can sit here and watch it with me every evening if you like. That sounds nice. Do we really have to wait until the harvest festival, though? Can I just watch the whole sunset with you right now? I just think the night of the harvest festival will make it all mo the more special. And I want your life to be as full of as many special memories as possible, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. What's your trip into town today? Did the library, did you like the library like the pumpkins? Oh yeah, they loved them. Oh, and you'll never guess. I saw both Emery and Nectary today. Really now? How wonderful. Tell me about it. Um, Emery was out with her mom and Dr. D. Oh, how is their mother doing? It's funny, she hasn't been saying anything about you. <laughs> how kind. Anyway, they were passing through town, but their car broke down. But while it's getting fixed, they're gonna stay in town for the festival. That's wonderful. Well, not that their car broke down, I suppose. But I'm happy you'll be able to spend time with them again. Emery's so cool, I love it when they're in town. And Nectary? Oh yeah, yeah, she was out with her mom too. They invited me to dinner, but I told them you needed help here. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I would have let you go with them, you're getting good about go getting home on time. I know, but I like you to dinner with you too, Dad. That's sweet. You're a sweet kid. Uh, Dad? Can I ask you something? Of course. Is he out with their moms today? I was wondering, are you going to tell me about Mom? Yeah, you know, we've discussed this before, haven't we? You don't have a mom. I made you from straw, magic, and a lock of my hair. Why, the only difference between you and Haley over there is that you can talk. That's what you always say. Do you really think I believe that? You don't want me to call you powerful, but even I don't think you can pull off magic like that. I never, ever, 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 ever... Never, 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 ever heard of anyone being so into life with their magic. <laughs> you think I can't do it? Well, if you can, then show me. I want to see you do it. Mm, no thanks. One kid is enough for me. <laughs> um, is there anything else you need done before the sun is finished setting? Mm, well, I do need some mushrooms for a potion I want to make. But they only grow in the forest. I'll get them myself tomorrow. Oh, huh? but Dad, what about your magic? I thought you needed to save energy. <laughs> I can spare a little to go into the woods for an hour. I could get them for you, Dad. That way you don't have to worry about it. No, no, I don't want you to. Those are dangerous, you know. There's rumors of an evil witch who lives there. I hear he eats children. <laughs> yeah, right, I bet that evil witch talk is about... People talk about is you. Don't make jokes like that, Ryo. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, I didn't mean it. Really, don't worry about it. I can get them tomorrow, it's fine. Okay. And? And? I love you. I love you too, Dad. It's almost time for bed now. Why don't you go inside? I'll have some other stuff for you to do tomorrow. Let's get you in bed on time, and I'll see you in the morning. Alright. Dad's asleep. I can totally go to get those mushrooms. I've been saying that I've been growing up strong enough to start handling any dangerous things at night, but it'll be extra impressive by me if I show him that I can go get the mushrooms on my own. And he wanted to waste any of his magic either. Of course, it's right next to the house, so even if I get a little lost, I don't think it'll be too far from home. All I need is that lantern. I don't know a lot about night, but I do know it gets dark. Real dark, apparently. But whenever Dad needs to see something in the dark area, he takes out an old lantern to keep things light. He taught me how to use it. It should be over... Ah, there we go. Now all I have to get, do is get out really quietly. ka -chunk. Whoa. This is the night? It feels so weird. If it's night, then that, 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 there must be the moon. Huh? Ah, what's this? My hands, this, this thread, what happened to me? That really was telling me the truth, huh? Because I went on night, I'd see that. I really am a scarecrow. But I, I don't understand. That he always told me I was a scarecrow, even when I didn't believe it. When I thought he was just kidding. So if this was really ne never meant to be a secret, why was I never allowed to go out at night? It's, it's weird. It feels so different, and yet I still f somehow feel like myself. What am I running out for then? I'll go get those mushrooms. Haley smiles warmly at you. The 
So stupid, kid. Hey there. Hey, kid. You stupid? Hey, it's you again! What are you doing here? Ain't it past your bedtime? Yeah, how'd you know? You should go back home. What did they talk about? She ain't no joke. Oh, yeah? Just go home, kid. I will, I just gotta get some mushrooms from my dad first. Better get him quickly, then. You know what, I'm gonna go home. You can't go back right. You need to get those mushrooms. Fine. Huh? What's that noise? That was me? I didn't even feel it. I really am just all straw, huh? I see. That's why I wasn't allowed out. If this was any bigger, my whole le leg might empty out. No, 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 it's okay. I was gonna start letting me go out at night for the Harvest Festival anyway. So I must think I'm big enough to take care of myself. I'm scared by a little some scratch. I'll, um, just shove the straw back in and cover it up with some mud. And sew it back up once I get home. Yeah, that'll work. Handle things at night like this, even Dad thinks so. Right? Don't wander too far. Just a bush. It's moving. Woods are dangerous. Beware the witch who lives here. Just a bush. These are your warning signs. Where are the goddamn mushrooms? It's the bush. It's the bush. Just a bush. Beware the witch, don't traverse the woods alone. Just a bush. Just a bush. Something wicked this way lives. Just a bush. A pair of old boots lying in the grass, as if whoever was wearing them was plucked right out. How does that happen? Wearing the force without shoes would hurt, wouldn't it? Are you following me? Psst, no. Why would I do that? I don't know, man. You acted like you were worried about me before. <laughs> You're imagining things that's what you think. Why well, are you here, then? I'm not. I'm leaving right now. Half a shirt lies here. It looks like it's been torn. I just going to rip my shirt climbing up a tree. I'm sure this is here for a similar reason. Press that. A little too long. She's outside more than you think. Uh, poor stupid child. Dangerous Whittler's past this point. Best to turn back. Did I read this one already? Which is why I cheered, tread carefully. Where are the goddamn mushrooms? Looks like you found the mushrooms. Looks like you found them before I did. You just went looking together, you know. Did you just take your mushrooms to go home already? Damn, jeez. Got him. That's too hard at all. Eh. What was that? Sound like a tree fell. I like what I needed. I'll, uh, just go home then. 
probably fell right over the exit. Oh no. Noise, the trunk fell? How am I gonna get back home now? Now what's this? Who was that? You're a little scarecrow boy. That's new. Please don't eat me. I'm nothing but straw. And he can't go back the way he came through? No path to return to? In cases like these, I think a bridge will do. Right. There you go. Let's not question it. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, son. Oh, good news, huh? Turns out I have to go look for mushrooms today after all. I was checking to the cabinet today, I saw some right in front. So I'm going to run out, but I suppose I was just overlooking things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Silly dad. It's not looking hard enough. Hey, are the mushrooms you needed, too, right? Yep, I got everything I need. See, I told you you didn't have to worry about it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, what do you need me to do today? I want you to make hay bales with the small piles of hay in the northwest field, chase away some birds, and check on Haley again. You can do that, right? Mm hmm. Don't ask me if you forget anything. And don't forget to come talk to me after you're done, okay? Okay. Something about Haley looks different today. All well, your straw's in place, but... See you later, Haley. What else did I have to do? Hey, it was stupid what you did last night, kid. Hey, it's you again. Do you have a death wish? Talk about the witch? Is that who you wanted to warn me about the other day? Because you didn't need to. She was nice to me. She helped me get back home. It's because you didn't have anything she wanted. Huh? You're only straw and fabric. No use in killing a stupid scarecrow. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Because you're just a kid. So be a good kid, and don't sneak out at night anymore. Roar. What are you doing? Get out of here. Ooh. Gotcha. That's all the birds again. Anything else? Yes, the hay. Well, hey, let's fix you up. It was a little weird after my discoveries last night. I won't think about it too hard. Well, hey, time to square you up. It's all the hey, little haystacks. Hmm, now what do I do? Actually, I think that's everything. I should go talk to Dad again. Managed everything. Wonderful, I knew I could count on you. Mm hmm. Hey, uh, Dad? Yes, son. Um, can you tell me about the witch that we lose in the forest? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you mention it the other day scare you? You don't have to worry anything about Rio. Even though we live quite near the forest, she can't go get near or into the town. Really? Why is that? That witch, you see, she isn't just a witch. She's a crow, too. That's why we have so many scarecrows, don't you know? They help ward off evil spirits, including nasty old crows. Really? And how come I always got to chase the birds away myself? <laughs> I guess that's just because you're the best scarecrow there is. Yeah, I am pretty great. But, uh, so there really is a witch, then? Who lives in the woods? And we're sure she's evil? Well, if she's good, I wouldn't know it. I've never seen her myself, if you can believe that. Maybe she really is just an old wives' tale. Or maybe it just means our scarecrows are doing a good job. Eh, yeah, I guess so. You aren't worried about it, are you? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I I've never seen her before either. So I guess everything's the way it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. It's all right, I have a few extra errands for you. Yeah, of course, Dad. It's like you said, you can count on me. For starters, I'll need you to... Dad's asleep. Don't psych yourself out, Rio. Just gotta see her again. I, I have to thank her for helping me. What is wrong with you? And if she can't come to town, then I'll have to go to her. It'll be okay, just like yesterday. She ran pretty easily. She can't live too far, right? You're an you're an idiot. Ellie's face is sunken, almost like she's frowning. I don't blame her. Moronic brat. I need to go into town. See you again. 
Didn't I tell you to stay home? Heh, <laughs> you're not my dad. Yeah? What would your dad say if he saw you doing this? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm already outside. I just want to thank her for yesterday. That's all. If you had just stayed home, this wouldn't even be an issue. Oh, well, what about you then? Doesn't seem like you're ever home at night. Whatever. You're not going to listen to me anyways, right? Fine, go ahead. See if I care. But don't say I didn't warn you. It's this way, right? Yeah, it has to be. I'm sure I'll make it there soon. What's this? I hate you. I hate you, I hate you. I hope you die. I hope it's because they kill you. Jeez, what's that all about? Fire will not burn our bridges. Fire will bring them together. Like the torch? Yes. Voila! Another bridge! Which 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 really love bridges. A bridge witch! A bridge? A widge? No, neither of those sound right. Scarecrow from the other night. How did you get here? I followed out the signs to go oh, here. A witch lives up ahead. <laughs> those silly things. I never bothered to take them down. I have no idea who put those here. But yes, I suppose that's me. I am a witch. I suppose I don't. That's why I don't get many visitors. Not except for you, it seems. What about you, little scarecrow boy? I never met anyone like you before. What are you doing here? Well, it's because I have something for you. Is this a flower for me? How oh, sweet. What's this for? Help me get home the other day. I would have been stuck in the woods if it weren't for you. <laughs> I see. Thank you very much. Though it's quite late for a visit. Do you always come out at night? Do your mom and dad know you're out? Uh, um, my dad doesn't know I would get in trouble if, he, if I did. Your mom? I don't have a mom. I see. Would you like one? Huh? I apologize. It must sound so sudden. It's just, I've been out here alone for so long. I can remember the last time I saw another person. And it's just, just, forgive me if I appear a bit emotional. It's just, I had a child once. But children don't stay children forever. A child grew up. And left me here on my own. Ever since, I've been, well, a bit of empty nestage, as they say. Your generosity and your kind of smile just reminds me of so much of my little one. So I wouldn't mind if you come back again. Or you can come visit me every night if you'd like. You can make an extra dinner to share, and you can help me cook or read in my library or play in the yard. It's just like having my own little one back home again. Do you like that idea? Yeah, I really like that idea. Wonderful. And let me ask you one last thing. What is your name? Oh, I'm Rio. What about you? I'm Vienna, but you can call me Mom. This is getting weird. Dear Journal. Dad got me you for me a while ago, but I never used you. It's not like I didn't want to. I just didn't have anything exciting to write about. Now I do. To which the people say losing in the woods? I met her. Well, she's my mom now. During the day, I help in the farm and spend time with Dad. When it's night... She got in the woods and visit Mom. I really like it. I help around the house. I like I do at the farm. It does feel like a chore. She always has new stuff to, do, to find. The first time I went there, I found... Well, here's the inside. Please forgive the mess. I'm not used to, well, any company at all. Had I known I would have a guess, I would have tidied up a bit. I think it looks great in here. Reminds me of home. I'm happy to hear it. Here, I'll prepare some snacks for us. Feel free to look around. Um, you can eat, correct? Are you made of straw and all? Um, I think so? I've never really tried yet. <laughs> right. Well, I guess we'll just see. Make yourself at home. This is going upsettingly well. In that it's just going to all fall apart at the end, I'm sure. <sighs> like, I'm going to stay here too long and I'm going to turn into a boy and she's going to realize it. Oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, I am the Blue Sturdy 2. This is uh, Pro Scare. TTFN. I'll talk for now.